Did you hear who was baptized? Yes, that guy. No, not the other guy. Yes, that guy. And it doesn't surprise me. And I don't think it surprised you either. It's amazing. Let's talk about it. Okay, brothers and sisters, welcome back to the program. I thought I would do this little ditty here, this little video here. And I'm not trying to steal the thunder from uh, David Boyce, but I am, I'm happy. I've been quietly watching him. And he is the antithesis of another YouTuber. And I'm not, I don't mean anything negative about the other YouTubers. As a matter of fact, I have a different idea of, of who that guy is but that's a whole different thing that guy but let's talk about david so i'm not trying to steal the thunder from david he just put out a video david boyce and i've been quietly keeping an eye on him for a little while he is the antithesis of someone else but i'm not getting into that because i have a different um i've changed my views on that a little bit and i'll tell you why and it's more more christ-like than i have been in the past so hi everyone i am a super uber thrilled to share something i am super uber happy to be with you right now absolutely amazing so it's david's journey is uh well it's both inspiring and i would say very moving um like i said before i've been quietly following this incredible person david boyce um on his spiritual journey for quite some time now um from the beginning off and on it's just interesting that out of all the 52 churches and i was pointing this out to someone that uh, that he embraced the church is it surprising no and i'll tell you why from the beginning i had this strong feeling that he was one of those special souls the those the very elect of god you could see it in his countenance. And I know a lot of you had the same feeling. I do not believe it's a coincidence that he uh, began to flourish at the same time. Other YouTubers that have talked about the church have. Uh, and you, can, you could see it in his countenance. You could feel the sincerity coming from him. So from the beginning, I felt that way. And I know a lot of you did too. Uh, that he is one of the elect who was just ready and prepared to embrace the gospel and guess what he did david's story is not just any story it's a testament to the power of sincere seeking and the beautiful unfolding of truth in someone's life among the many voices on youtube exploring faith and spirituality david has always stood out the other david as well david alexander stood out to me as one of the most genuine seekers of truth coming out of the Protestant church um, on YouTube uh, or the Protestant movement, I guess you could say, or Catholicism as well. Um, ex exploring faith and spirituality. It's definitely his sincerity. It's his openness to understanding and his heartfelt quest uh, that have always resonated with me. And now to see him take this significant step, he was just recently baptized, and I'll leave the link to his video. Um, so for him to take this step in his spiritual journey, I don't think it surprised many. I mean, think about it. He went to 52 churches, 52 faiths. And if you look at the, the, the YouTube thumbnail, it's... It's different from the others. I, I see something in the way he looks and he says mind blowing uh, for a Protestant uh, to convert and embrace the teachings of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know that fills all of our hearts with so much joy and excitement. But here's the thing. David isn't alone on this journey of discovery. And I'm not really trying to make this about, uh, I'm not trying to make this about another person, but there's another YouTuber who, and, and there, there's a reason why I'm pointing this out, because I want you guys to see the difference. 
While not explicitly stating a journey towards truth, there is another YouTuber, and I didn't come on here to talk about him, but I need you to see the difference in who they are. I, I, I know you have, but I'm, I'm just pointing that out because it's a beautiful thing. It's not to ridicule Jeff McCullough from Hello Saints, and that's who it is. While Jeff hasn't explicitly stated that he's on a journey towards truth like David, uh, he has been exploring the LDS church with a level of sincerity and openness that's truly commendable. Uh, I did have some problems with that in the past, and I think it's because I could see that he is trying to, uh, I think he has other motives still to build a mega church or whatever here. I don't know what's going on. I haven't watched it in a while, but I did react to it a couple times. But the reason I'm bringing it up is not to put down Jeff because Jeff, when I think about it, um, Jeff has never come out and said that he is on a journey to truth. So he is telling the truth about that. But it's fascinating to see different paths unfold in front of us. They're both unique, yet profoundly sincere in their own way and in their own right. I've been keeping an eye on David, quietly cheering him on from the sidelines. And let me tell you, a year ago, I just knew in my heart he was going to make this life-changing decision. I could see it. I could feel it. I think the, the church was like the eighth one he went to, and then he came back, came back. And then I, I know there, there's something about, you could feel the light of Christ and you could feel the spirit. Like I felt the spirit when I watched the Queen of England's um, burial or her, where they, not the burial, but where they all, what, the walkthrough. And the, the music that was playing, it, there was a reverence there. You could feel it when you go to a Catholic mass. But I know that those who have the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost, you feel it even more because of the spirit that you have, not because the Holy Ghost is there. That is not a bad thing to say, brothers and sisters. This, these are the teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith. This is what we believe, that people can have the Holy Ghost but yet it not tarry with them if they are not baptized, if they, they do not become a member of the church. Well, I could see that spirit working on David, and I know he felt that, that different spirit, he doesn't even have to say it, when he came to a sacrament meeting or when he had missionaries in his home. I know that. I could feel that, that he, and he could feel it. So I, I've, I've been cheering him on from the sidelines and to all those on this journey of faith and discovery, know that your sincerity and earnest seeking are a light to many. Your stories inspire. Your questions provoke thought. And your decisions bring hope to those watching and cheering you on. Brothers and sisters, I am beyond excited for David Boyce and his new chapter. It's a reminder to all of us that the journey towards truth, towards understanding, toward faith, and, and to the waters of baptism eventually is a deeply personal and transformative uh, decision and journey. Let's celebrate David's journey. I, I would continue to watch him and keep an eye on him and see how this evolves he had, you should go watch that video that i watched today it's it's very informative because it's not just about the destination brothers and sisters the purpose of god is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man it's not about the destination as much as it is gathering israel and sharing the gospel of jesus christ we all have different gifts we all have different talents spiritual gifts and spiritual talents. So don't ever think that you're, because you're not doing what someone else is doing to gather Israel, that you aren't, because you are. Brothers and sisters, remember that miracles are real. The miracle of the Holy Ghost, the miracle of knowing that the gospel is true, the, the miracle of, of 
of knowing these spiritual gifts of of being one of heavenly father's elect like david boyce who whatever made him elect i believe that what makes somebody the elect of god is not that god chose you you chose to be chosen he chose to be chosen it's what we seek we were the valiant noble and faithful before we came and Tomorrow I'm having Joel Skousen on to talk about what's going on in Israel. Um, so pray for those who are on both sides of that horrible, horrible event. The questions we ask, the answers we find, and the growth we experience along the way is what matters. Brothers and sisters, please remember conference. Read the conference talks over and over again. I really feel that General Con he's been doing this for how long? I think it had General Conference probably gave him some spiritual momentum. I wouldn't doubt. Probably generated some spiritual battery uh, and reminded him of who he was on this earth. He saw the Christian tenets. He was trying to find the church that existed anciently and he found it. So here's to David, who's sincere seekers of jesus christ and to that journey of faith and ultimate discovery of truth brothers and sisters keep seeking you're not done yet keep letting your light shine before men and glorify your god which is in heaven and always stay true to your covenants much love and excitement for what's to come and i will leave the link to the video and it, it is entitled, I Got Baptized, My Bizarre LDS Conversion Story. Here's to you, David.